my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off on our positive vibes. It looks like Beyonce and her team decided to surprise K Michelle with some flowers and this lovely note that reads, you're slaying it. I love what you've been doing and I know it's not easy to enter a new space, sending you positivity and respect. I hope to meet you one day. Love Beyonce. I mean, the flowers are absolutely beautiful. K Michelle decided to respond back and she said, Beyonce, wow, this is so nice. One of the nicest things ever. I'm in tears thank you so much for giving me my flowers they are so beautiful i'm so nervous about finally getting to put out my first country album and this just fueled the fire i'm so motivated congratulations on another iconic album and era look forward to seeing you soon do your thing cowboy carter and then she tagged beyonce you rock so much love and support for you so i feel like this was very very beautiful just when people was trying to put beyonce and k michelle against each other beyonce showed look there's no competition I'm supporting her as well. So shout out to K Michelle and Beyonce for that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this tea. Now, there's this debate going on about Offset's recent performance. A lot of people felt like the way that Chloe Bailey was on him was completely wrong. Let's go ahead and get into a portion of this article from Hot New Hip Hop. Shout out to them. It says, earlier this week, Offset brought out various special guests at his performance in Los Angeles. Gonna join the hit maker on stage for Proud of Them for one, which fans mostly seem to enjoy. He also brought out Chloe Bailey for a performance of their set it off collaboration princess cut unfortunately this is where the controversy begins okay so you guys can see in this video with their performance offset is sitting on some stairs and then chloe bailey she decides to sit next to him she does decide to get a little handsy where she does put her hands on his knees but it wasn't anything too serious where she wasn't touching all up on him but still fans seeing it as wrong because they feel like um offset is a married man now some people just see it as entertainment like these two were just performing but some people are like mm, how does cardi b feel about this now i am leaning more on the side of they're just entertainers and they are entertaining i honestly think that offset and chloe bailey knew that them doing this on stage was going to get people the blogs to talking and look people are talking about it now so and i do believe that offset and chloe bailey are two celebrities who could use the whole publicity stuntish type of situations i do believe that offset and chloe bailey could use it to up their views but that's just my honest opinion y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section i have no doubt that cardi b knows about this and she probably doesn't care and she understands look it's just entertainment if not trust me cardi b would definitely be going off let's go ahead and move on to boosie now boosie decided to get on live yesterday and talking about males painting their nails now this is ironic because it only comes a day after Lil baby was trending for allegedly having his nails painted so it seems like boosie was being shady but also we have to note celebrities like drake lil yachty lil pump they've also had their nails painted but regardless lil baby cleared up the rumors and said yesterday that he wasn't painting his nails now boosie makes a point and fellas i need y'all to weigh in on this is this true boosie said that if a man is painting his nails he is envisioning himself and what he would look like as a woman is that true y'all let me know in the comment section he also said that eyelashes are next and he believes that guys are going to start wearing eyelash extensions let's go ahead and get into this boozy audio if you paint your nails red or white all this stuff if you paint your nails you have you have thought about in your head of how you would look as a woman when you looked in that you was you can't feel masculine Paint your nails and your toes. You didn't thought about in your head how I would look as a woman. They thought about how would they, how they would look with crochet braids. Oh. They thought about how they would look with a BBL. You can't look in the mirror with nails and paints and eye and not and feel massacre and feel like a man. Can you agree with that? Next is gonna be eyelashes on me. If you paint your nails red, white, all this stuff. Some people see it as a fashion statement. Some people see it as guys doing something different with their fashion. And some people do see it as, you know, very feminine. Y'all let me know. Is it feminine or is it guys just doing something different with 
fashion okay i think everybody is different but i digress y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section i cannot speak for everybody now let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be our girl cardi b okay cardi b feels like she completely embarrassed herself in front of paris hilton and in front of rihanna so she recently went to this celebrity dinner where she had like salmon or something like that i believe she had some type of fish and then she had pepper stuck in her tooth so she didn't know she was smiling in front of paris hilton and rihanna but she did have a conversation with paris hilton where she was all up in her face smiling and she said she had no clue she had this black thing on her tooth so she felt completely embarrassed when she looked in the mirror at the end of the day and she seen that she had pepper on her tooth while she was talking to and smiling in front of Paris Hilton and Rihanna so she felt completely embarrassed so she decides to give us this story time on her Instagram live but Paris Hilton little does Cardi B know Paris Hilton didn't even see it she decided to comment when she seen this live and she was like you look stunning and no I did not see that so basically Cardi B is the one who told on herself and you can tell that Cardi B is definitely an overthinker like a lot of us other people are overthinkers let's go ahead and get into this audio this is going to be the end of this video it's going to be pretty long but my lovely TTs like I always say make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your day Not even one no more because it took too long. Like, I'm a person, like, if I'm eating, I gotta directly eat. I can't stop because I don't want no more. Put these in the trash can. All right. Um, that was enough for the day. I'm about to start recording. That was enough. There's enough of me talking for today. See y'all later. Maybe yes, maybe no. Remember, boba tea with bug on my nose. Yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what happened at Jason Lee party, right? Yo, I was really upset because, no, I wasn't upset, right? Because, you know, you know, during the, because I, this, now I want, now I want, I wonder, now I wonder, right? Because, you know, it was like a dinner and everything. And, you know, I was eating, I was hungry. So, you know, I'm talking to Paris Hilton, I'm talking to Rihanna and everything, and I'm smiling because, you know, when I smile, like, I get nervous. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, I'm all up in Paris Hilton face and everything because we, we, we sitting right across, like, you know, we're sitting, like, right next to each other. Went home, you know what I noticed? That I have something black right here. I noticed I have something black. Oh, my gosh, like, you know what that remind me of? Ev, have you ever watched the movie Kiss, Cusco? Yeah. Kiss, Kisco, the llama? Oh, yeah. You remember when when the when the witch when the lady had a brock and she had spinach? Yo, that's all I could think about. Like it's like I hope, like I hope, like all right. So like I was eating salad, I was eating chicken and everything as appetizers. At the end is when they brought my salmon. So I'm hoping that I that that little black piece. I'm hoping that that little black piece was like when I ate the salmon because after I ate the salmon like I wasn't really smiling or talking anymore like I was like I right, like I'm a little drunk I had three lemon drops I had three lemon drops so I was like oh my gosh I hope that she didn't notice but it's like matter of fact I'm I should set up like hey like when I was nah because I would be random like hey when I was talking did I have something black on my teeth yo when I got home and I noticed that I just embarrassing the emperor's new group yeah i feel like the emperor's new group i think it was, i think because i know for a fact i didn't have it when i come in every time i go to an event i make sure i bring so i really feel like like it was the last entry that like 
Yo, because when I got home and I'm like, whew. Ah! I had this big I really think it was because of the salmon. I hope it was because of the salmon. I hope it wasn't like the whole time I was just talking to her and to them. And I'm just, you know, you know, I'm mad quirky. So like, you know, like I'm a very awkward person. So like when people talk to me and everything, I just smile, man, hard. Like, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So I hope like you. Oh my god, imagine me talking face to face with Paris Hilton and teeth. And I don't, and, but you see, this is why sometimes when you're in a public event, you gotta get up and go to the bathroom. But I didn't want it to be weird and like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom. Um, because like Jason was making like a very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful speech. But this is why you got to get up and go to the bathroom and check yourself. Because now I just feel like, oh my goodness. Like, that's all I could think about. That's all I could think about. That whole night, I could not sleep. I could not sleep though. All right. I'll just you guys later because it's getting late. Bye.